Visual Staff Scheduler allows you to produce custom daily rosters that can include all schedule information assigned to employees for a particular day, including shift start and end times, location, task assigned, and notes. To change the current view to daily, select the view menu and click on the view you want to see, such as one day. VSS Pro switches to the one day view. The print function from the file menu will produce a schedule based on the current schedule format, which in this example is the one day view. Or you can select the name of the current schedule format from the reports menu. In this example, it's one day. The current schedule format will always be the first item listed in the reports menu. The print window contains many features that allow you to customize your schedules. A query filters the employee list to show only the people that meet specific criteria. If you are not going to select a query, you should use the names list box to select the names you would like to appear on the printed schedule. Multiple names may be selected by holding the mouse button down while moving up or down. To select multiple names at random, hold the control key on your keyboard down while making the selections with your mouse. If you have dividers in your schedule, they will appear in the names list box. You can select dividers in your report by selecting them just as you would any other name in the list. Click on the Select All button to select all the names in the list. Select the Same as Screen option. It's used when you want to print a schedule with the same days that are currently on your screen. You can manually select the start date and number of days for the printed schedule. The default start date and number of days will be the date range you choose before selecting the print function. You can select additional options to further define the format of the schedule you are printing. Blank schedule is used if you would like the system to print a schedule that contains names but has no other scheduling data on it. You would use a blank schedule if you're planning a schedule before entering it in to the system uh, or to use it as a staff self-scheduler or time off request sheet. Select the omit Saturdays or omit Sundays option if you are printing a report that is no longer than one week and you do not schedule personnel for Saturdays or Sundays. Select omit coverage totals if you do not want coverage totals to display at the bottom of the printed report. Select the highlighter option to print the highlighter used for selected cells in the schedule. The highlighter allows you to highlight cells that match the criteria defined by a query. Select the Total Hours column option to add a Total Hours column at the far right side of the report. The Total Hours column totals the number of hours each person has been scheduled for the selected date range only. Choose a pen legend to include a legend page to the end of the schedule or schedules you are printing. If you don't want to display employee names when printing staff schedules, select Print Employee Numbers Only. This is how you create daily rosters in Visual Staff Scheduler. For more information about creating shift schedules using Visual Staff Scheduler, go to www.abs-usa.com.